was in Tucson today making multiple stops around town, including one stop at Raytheon, where he helped formally dedicate newly completed buildings at the airport plant site. And that's where they gathered for a ribbon cutting and use for Tucson's Eric Bink is live at Raytheon right now to tell us more. Hey, Eric. Oh, hi there, John. This expansion uh, in here at Raytheon set to bring 2,000 new jobs to Tucson by 2021. It all highlights a public-private partnership between the state, the city of Tucson, and the city's largest private employer. Yay! Governor Doug Ducey and Tucson Mayor Jonathan Rothschild on hand for the ribbon cutting. Several new buildings on campus here will be used as the company readies to expand. The governor says he thinks this growth will help keep Arizona's recent engineering graduates here in our state. It's something that a company like Raytheon is able to attract the finest engineers from U of A, ASU, and a great uh, young people from NAU as well. So we're going to continue to have dollars flowing to our universities. And it means more employment for our families here, more people coming in here with good, high-paying, clean jobs uh, to our community, which has uh, been something we've been striving for for a long time. Now, leaders here at Raytheon telling me it and Lockheed Martin were both awarded a $900 million contract from the government to build a long-range standing weapon. And that means these two companies are in the design phase of that project. The governor will pick which design it likes, or the government, rather, will pick which design it likes better by 2022. And this expansion will go towards helping Raytheon in the design phase of this project. We'll have a lot more on this story coming up at 10 o'clock. We're live tonight on the South Side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. John? Eric, thank you.